Welcome to Red Eye. Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Shalhoub. Let's check in with TV's Andy Levy over at the Red Eye News Deck. Hey, Andy. Can't believe it, Tom. Why? What happened? I, you're not, I can't believe you're not going to talk about the new Star Wars trailer. Oh, Andy, we are. I even said it in I, the I mean, it's only like the biggest movie news ever. Why would you talk about it? You know, I don't think you were listening to the top of the show before the news break when I oh, said... Oh, I get it. We can show your little barbershop clips, but when the trailer for a movie a lot of people have been waiting for for 40 years comes out, that's not big enough news for you. Andy, I don't know what else to say. You, know, you doing... go to hell, Tom Shalou. Let's welcome our guests. The force is strong with this one. Fox News contributor Jedediah Bila. He must be glad to be here. His one-man show ends with him as a guest on Red Eye. Comedian Mark Giordano. Her last name only looks like a typo. Reporter for the National Review and Fox News contributor Catherine Tim. And he's appeared on Premium Blend. You know, that makes me want a cup of coffee. Sitting right next to me is comedian Avi Lieberman. Okay, let's start the show. A teen says he hacked CIA director John Brennan's AOL account. The young hacker told the New York Post that Brennan's personal account held sensitive files, including his 47-page application for top security clearance and the personal information of a number of top intelligence officials. There were also sensitive videos, like this one. It's very sensitive. <laughs> the teen described himself as an American high school student who is not Muslim and was motivated by opposition to U.S. foreign policy and support for Palestine. On Twitter, he brags CWA owns John Brennan of the CIA. CWA stands for Crackers with Attitude, which he said refers to him and a classmate, which is weird because that was also the name of my first barbershop group. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Crackers with Attitude. <laughs> There was some nerves there at that first contest. <laughs> that is as white as it gets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how did two teens hack into the CIA director's email account? It's complicated, so we've made a helpful video to explain the process. The hacker called Verizon and tricked them into providing Brennan's personal information. The tactic is known as social engineering. The hacker then duped America Online. You've got mail into resetting his password. <laughs> the hacker then called the New York Post to gloat. Well, 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 it seems complicated, but it wasn't really that complicated after all. Was it Catherine Timp? Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. I feel like you were just here like 10 years I ago or like something. I feel like I wasn't just here. <laughs> I feel well, like I wasn't. Let's bring your incisive political mm -hmm. mind and put it to work here. Uh, shouldn't the head of the CIA known better? Yes, absolutely. I could look at this as being proud of this little stoner kid or thinking he's smart, but I tend to look at things negatively, generally. Um, <laughs> and, you know, so anyone who says that Hillary didn't put anyone at risk for what she did with her private email server is an idiot after seeing something like this. They probably don't realize it because what makes idiots idiots is that they're too big of idiots to realize how stupid they are. But this is a serious problem. If some little stoner kid can hack into a CIA email, maybe things aren't really as secure as they could be. It's true. You know, you make a good point about Hillary, but what if she spins this to, hey, everyone was doing it, including the head of the CIA? I don't doubt that she will because she doesn't like to take responsibility for her actions. That's it. Uh, Avi, yes. uh, do you think this was uh, the responsibility of the CIA director to be a little more careful with his files? Well, I think he made a mistake by having an AOL account to begin with. Yes. Did, did he sign up for that after the Go-Go's concert? Like, I don't understand. I it's, you know, it's 2015. That doesn't make any sense. You know, they, uh, they, they probably were still offering that free support. Yes. You could call them any right. at any hour for free if support. If it's free, there's yeah. something wrong. That's yeah. what I was taught as a kid. But yeah, I like how the kid went straight to blaming the Jews. That's uh, It's Israel's fault. <laughs> he cut through all the nonsense and just went right at it. That's, now, wait a minute. So. What was his angle? This kid, do, do, Are you sure he yeah, was? I believe it was because he, uh, they, he was angry at the United States' support for Israel and their foreign policy. So, I right. see. But I think okay. he's going to get hired by the UN very shortly, so I think he's, he's going to be fine. It so. could be. I think, what do you think, Mark? Are they going to track this kid down? I so, mean, he's obviously careful. He can cover his tracks. Something tells me 
me he's not getting anything from Microsoft like the Texas clock bomb kid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's not going to be at the White House showing up. No, he's cool. not going to be invited by Obama. A cool, cool, yes. cool hack. Yeah. Cool hack, Ahmed. <laughs> cool hack. Um, no, I, I mean, uh, as we, if we've learned anything from the uh, Clinton email, scandal, non-scandal, scandal, non-scandal, scandal, non-scandal, as she says. Yeah. Uh, it's scandal. scandal. Yes, yes. It's, it's a, a scandal. A total Don't scandal. ever listen to anything no, she says. No, I'm not. I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying this is probably just about John Brennan's yoga practice and uh, Jay Johnson's favorite frozen yogurt Probably flavors. Probably not. Can't a CIA director have a private account where he sends his work email so he can do his work at home and, you know, uh, go through all his classified not. files? Clearly not. Apparently, uh, apparently he sent his 47-page security clearance application to through this, yep. through this account, which I guess, you know, smelly guy on horse or yeah. carrier pigeon was not available. Yeah. But he, so he, he, like you said, the fact that he even has an AOL account and is using it still is mind-boggling. I can't the, the head of the CIA. Of yeah. For God's sake. You know. Listen, though, when you take jobs like this, you incur a different kind of responsibility right. than the average citizen. Look, I'm sorry. You don't get to have a personal email account. Get rid of the personal email accounts. I don't care if you have to be an antique and pick up the phone and call someone if you have something to say. They'll like Lindsey Graham. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You just don't get the same rights as everyone else because you're dealing with information that has the, the potential to threaten us. You're dealing with high level national security information, you don't know what was in that application that he sent Absolutely. or what potentially could have been sent. Like, we don't know what Hillary sent. So when you apply for these jobs, these high level jobs, you give up some of your freedoms and some of your luxuries. And one of those luxuries is a personal yeah. email account. Just get rid of it. Don't have it. He had, that great, he had that great AOL screen name, though. Top it's spy true, right? at AOL. I think the, moral <laughs> the, story, the moral of the story is that nobody with an AOL email account should ever be hired for a job. That's true. No. Or Check. appointed. Excellent point. Okay, look, CNN talked to the hacker by phone. And here's how he described himself. I'm about the age of 20 years old. Um, I smoke pot. I live in America. And, and you smoke pot? Oh. All day, every day. You're saying you might have hacked the director of the CIA <laughs> while you were high? Probably. <laughs> Oh my God. Probably. <laughs> that is an industrious young man. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Do you know how dumb this makes us look though? Like when people from yeah. other countries see this mm. and they see that any idiot could just hack in. I mean, oh, I tricked Verizon. Wow. I mean, anybody can do this and get potentially top secret information. Maybe they didn't get it this time, but who knows what was in Hillary's emails that's floating around but there. But that's what you see every TV show. It's always a couple of hackers well, sitting in a say, dark room, right? I, well, not everybody. Like, think of it, what he could do if he wasn't high. So oh, maybe that's this, true. this could be a very bright young man. You it's know, true. Think, you know. It sort of flips know. everything on his head, its head <laughs> yeah. about like not wanting to speak to a person. Like yeah. people usually want to speak to a person. Exactly. He spoke no. to a person at Verizon and I hate got, speaking to people. Me too. <laughs>